Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to work on overclocking a Raspberry Pi 4. It doesn't matter if it's a 1 gig, 2 gig, or 4 gig RAM model. Uh, so where we need to start at, of course, <clears throat> we need to go uh, to raspberrypi.org and you need to do your download um, of your, your image. Um, show you here I always go with this one <clears throat> Raspberry uh, Raspberry and Buster with desktop and recommended software uh, and just download the zip file um, I'm already downloaded so I'm not going to do that but as soon as you hit this uh, this key here this button it's going to show down here that's downloading so um, with that uh, and while that's downloading, you need to come to Notepad++ uh, and download the current uh, release, the newest release there. Uh, also, while that's downloading, uh, you need to come to Etcher. And I'll put a link to all these in the, in the description below. Uh, but that also needs to be, uh, to be downloaded there. So with that done, um, you need to actually put a micro SD card uh, into your card reader on your on your Windows PC laptop whatever uh, open up etcher and I apologize my my throat's a little sore the weather's been changing so if you hear me clear my throat that's why so as soon as this opens uh, select image um, desktop uh, Raspberry Pi and it's going to be this one right here the full version now we got to pick a storage device uh, in this case mine's going to be H it's already selected and then flash <coughs> and it's just a matter of it's just a matter of waiting for it to flash now uh, by the time this gets done flashing your other downloads uh, should be done so uh, uh, I'm gonna take a pause real quick uh, and I'm gonna actually pick up this uh, this recording actually on the Raspberry Pi um, and show you a few things on there before we continue so uh, I will be right back with you guys okay guys we're on the Raspberry Pi and I wanted to show you um, if you come up here right click add remove panel items and hit the add button uh, scroll down and you're going to be looking for let me find it um, CPU frequency front end uh, you want to click that and hit the add button uh, I already have it up but it's going to appear up here and as you see it's showing our frequency at 1500 megahertz which is 1.5 gig um, so I want to show you this on the stock configuration uh, before we overclock um, and let me take a moment and ask you guys to hit the subscribe button below I'd really appreciate it I got some great great uh, uh, projects that are coming up that you might be interested in so make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, I already took the liberty of downloading some my normal programs here ham radio op applications and um, I already did my initial setup so I loaded the card in here um, I set up uh, language preferences and um, location um, networking so on and so forth so again uh, this is stock configuration uh, 1500 megahertz 1.5 gigahertz so we are going to go back to the PC now um, and do the overclocking process now I want to say that um, uh, and I'm gonna say it over and over again I do not take responsibility for any damage that could cause to your your Raspberry Pi however I feel pretty pretty sure if you uh, follow all these steps I don't think you're gonna have a problem uh, I've overclocked uh, several Raspberry Pi 4's with without any issue there so uh, be patient and I'll be right back in one second and we'll start the uh, overclocking process okay welcome back guys we are back on the Windows PC 
And I'd like to mention at this time, and I should have mentioned it uh, in the beginning, um, a couple things. One, uh, after you get done burning Raspberry image uh, to your micro SD card, you have to um, put it into your Raspberry Pi and do your normal configurations before uh, the overclocking process. Uh, it will not work uh, otherwise. Um, also, I do not take any responsibility um, for any damage to your Raspberry Pi. Um, once you overclock, you need to make sure you have a decent cooling system. Uh, just a heat sink is probably not going to work. Uh, even a tiny little fan um, that usually comes with some of the uh, some of the kits is probably not going to work. It will get a little warmer. Um, maybe I will put down in the description uh, a couple of the fans that I use that are that are fairly reasonably priced and um, work quite well. Um, I actually have one set up that uh, uh, has dual fans. I call them turbo fans, uh, and I'll put the link to to them from Amazon uh, down below in the description. Uh, also, the text that we're going to apply to overclock this thing, that's going to be down in the description, in description at all, uh, also. Um, so you just need to copy and paste. Uh, you want to open up uh, regular Windows Notepad, paste it in there, save it as a text file. Uh, so let's get started here. Um, I'm going to put in the uh, micro SD card uh, that has already been burned uh, with Raspberry and uh, we already did the configuration we plugged it into the Pi, did our complete setup, now we're back to the Windows PC so I'm plugging that in now uh, we are going to continue without scanning open file okay so by now you should already have your notepad plus plus and we're gonna need that uh, here in just a second so you want to single left click on config here and then you want to right click on it and edit with notepad plus plus left click on that and here we go so now here all the way at the bottom uh, line 67 or 68 it doesn't really matter so you want to take your file uh, where you put the text that you downloaded from the from um, from this video, uh, which I have in a folder right here, Pi Overclock. So I'm going to open that up. Um, Raspberry Pi 4, line 67, and this is the the text. So you want to copy this. Right click, copy close this close this um, come down here and uh, you can put it at 67 or come down 68 it doesn't matter where it goes uh, we're just going to put it at 68 here right click we're going to paste and come back up here to file um, and we're just going to hit save and that is it uh, it is overclock now. Uh, so give me a moment. We're going to switch back over to the, I'm going to put the SD card back into the Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to show you where it's now overclocked. Uh, so give me just one second. Okay, guys, we're back on the Raspberry Pi 4. And um, I put in the micro SD card, everything still works fine. And we're going to go back up here and actually see if it works. And there it is. Um, 2 gigs, uh, 2000 megahertz. Uh, this Pi is actually overclocked now. Now I've taken it a little further than that. Um, I've gone up to 2.1 gigs and it seems like it gets, I don't know, uh, depending on what you're doing, it, it, gets, it gets a little, I don't know, kind of flaky in a way. Uh, I found the happy the happy spot is right at uh, right at two gigs. Um, it, does this make a huge difference going from 1.5 to two? Uh, yes and no. 
Uh, if you're just one, running one simple program, you might not notice a difference. Uh, I run multiple programs, uh, especially you know on certain Raspberry Pis, ham radio programs, uh, and it makes a, a, a world of difference. Um, overclocking it so you know if you're just you know web browsing or running one program then you might not really notice anything but running more than one program at once you you will see the benefits of it so uh, I would uh, ask if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing below I'd really appreciate it leave any comments or questions that you have and uh, I hope this video uh, helps some of you guys out <clears throat> Um, doing the best that I can here, uh, uh, trying to get better at it, and uh, I have a lot of cool stuff that I have planned uh, in the future. Um, some more satellite uh, working programs. Um, I have plans to do a full complete media center uh, in my 04 uh, GT Mustang Anniversary Edition. Uh, touch screen the whole nine yards so uh, I have a lot of things planned guys so make sure you uh, subscribe uh, su subscribe below so take care guys hope you enjoyed it 7-3 uh, and again this is Doug Delta Oscar Uniform Golf and uh, uh, have a good evening